All right, welcome to this uh, free four-part workshop on um, getting ranked on the first page of Google, no matter what niche you are in. And you know, it, this may seem um, you know impossible for many of you. Uh, and it, it, I'm here to tell you, it, it's it's actually a lot easier than most people think. And it, it's been it's been you know talked about a lot and kind of bad mouthed a lot by different marketers and over the years SEO has become uh, one of those smoke and mirrors things and um, it, there's a lot of different ways to approach it so over the course of the next four videos I'm gonna um, create for you as part of this free workshop um, I'm gonna kind of dispel a lot of different myths and also um, hopefully teach you some stuff you, you've never learned before or never seen before um, there's a lot of stuff over the years that I've learned that um, I kind of just take for granted as, as as part of my uh, you know my knowledge of SEO and you know I, I, I that's kind of why I, I did this survey um, to my list recently um, you know I just asked what's your what are your, your two biggest questions um, on getting ranked in Google and, and the other search engines um, because I, I want to know because I want to be able to help you guys but second I, I I kind of just need to know where you're at so I can <clears throat> so I can kind of fill in the gaps of uh, you know what you know so these were all the responses that I got you know there's there were more than this but these kind of uh, a lot of them are you know were similar so I kind of grouped them into different uh, you know different responses and then I grouped those responses into different categories so over the course of the next four videos I'm going to try and um, I'm going to try and answer up as many of these as I possibly can. There's some of them that it's just it's going to be too hard for me to, to answer in 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 one video. So um, that'll be left for the actual course itself. But um, I'm trying. I'm going to try and give you guys as much as much possible value as I can in these four videos as part of this workshop. Um, just because that's what I like to do. I like to I like to give um, as much as I can because I it's just who I am. So I like to teach. Um, I like to share my knowledge and, and share what I've learned over the course of my um, internet marketing career. So um, I'm going to start by just answering a couple of these general questions up here. So um, how much time does it take? And, you know, that refers to getting ranked on the first page. So starting from scratch, if you are an absolute beginner and you have nothing, no website at all, not even a domain name, how much time would it take to get to the first page? That is a very, uh, very difficult question to ask because there's so many variables uh, depends on the niche depends on um, what you're trying to rank for how much competition there is um, but I think what you'll find over the course of this four-part video series that um, it's gonna be a lot quicker than you think it will be because there's ways to get around uh, the competition and there's ways to get around the fact that you are a beginner and I know a lot of you guys aren't beginners so um, as I go through this, I'll try and uh, I'll try and hit each thing from both angles. So, uh, you know, I'll, I'll try and give you advice based on you being a beginner and and based on you having an existing website because we already have um, a whole slew of websites, mostly for for bringing us the most traffic um, as far as organic search goes. So, uh, I'm constantly every single day learning as much as I can about SEO and you know how the search engines work because that's um, what what our you know what at least for the gardening niche that's what our, our business relies on um, so as far as how much time it takes it's really hard to give that answer um, it's just one of those things that the, the way I look at it is um, and this is what I ask a lot of people that come to me personally and say you know how much time is this going to take me to before I make money? And I always say, well, how much money have you made so far online? And the typical answer is either less than a hundred dollars or even zero. I'm like, well, you can afford to put in work in advance so that you can make money online. Um, it, it, so many people want just like that quick and easy way to make money. Um, and if it were that easy, guys, it would be, the first page of Google would be just loaded with junk results because it's it, that's what people expect they expect to throw together a 200 word article 
you know, buy some crappy Fiverr gig with 40,000 backlinks to it and have it rank on the first page of Google in 24 hours. Um, sorry to say that that's not how it works. Yeah, it takes a lot more than that to uh, to get on the first page of Google. Um, and that's kind of one of the, there was another question on here. Are you really going to outsmart Google at this? They've spent a lot of time and a lot of money to keep people from controlling their rankings. That This right here is absolutely 100% right. That is their business. Um, you know, that's 100% of their income comes from people going to that website to search for whatever it is they're looking for. They're not going to let anybody else control that. But what this four-part video series and what the course is for the First Page Academy, what that is, is teaching you what Google wants and what they want to rank on the first page of Google and teaching you exactly how to create that and give that to them. Um, and it's not hard, guys. It's not, This is really is not hard to do. It's actually very easy and it's a very step-by-step uh, -step systematic approach to uh, to giving them what they want. And really what they want is to provide their user with the absolute best content that they can put in front of them to answer their question as quickly as possible. I've done hours and hours and hours of research on Google's websites, their webmaster blog, and I, you know, I pick and choose different quotes to, to save and archive for myself to go back to from time to time. And when it comes down to it, their their mission is to provide the, the world with the best content that's out there and to give their user the, the best experience as possible when they come to their website. So keep that in mind when you're when you're watching these videos and when you're taking notes and thinking about how you can approach your niche. So will this work for anything besides websites? Absolutely, it works. Sometimes it works even better um, when you look at like a YouTube video. Um, obviously, Google owns YouTube, so anything you put on YouTube it already has the authority of Google for the most part. Um, this is this has gotten to be um, abused a lot too over the years. People just you know spending a bunch of money on crappy backlinks to YouTube videos or buying fake video views. Um, it, Doing that is the same thing as doing that to your own website. They're they're not gonna give they're not gonna give you any any weight based on on those things. So, um, but it is typically faster to rank a YouTube video than it is a brand new website. Uh, but again, that's something that you don't own. Um, that's something that you're relying on on Google to provide that ranking for you over the years with YouTube. Um, our, our YouTube videos have kind of stood the test of time and we, uh, as you'll see, we don't, we don't really focus at all on backlinks to YouTube videos, um, but we'll, we'll get more into that later. So to answer the question, yes, this works for other things besides websites. Um, there aren't a whole lot of other things besides YouTube or besides videos. You know, there are like slide share things and, and stuff like that. It will work for that. Um, but it's only a matter of time before Google discounts those things just like they did article directories. Will this work for local SEO? Absolutely. Uh, it works almost better because most people in the local markets don't know what they're doing. There are, you know, there are local SEO guys, but um, they're kind of few and far between. And even those guys kind of don't know what they're doing most of the time. Um, it's, it's easy to find a different angle if, if you have somebody in your market you know, maybe a popular market like uh, Houston, Texas, or New York City. If you got, obviously, there's probably some smart local SEO guys there who are at the top of the rankings, but there are ways to get around that. Um, and you'll probably, you'll probably, a light bulb will probably go off over the course of this this free video series um, when you when you see some of the stuff that I'm going to teach you guys. So, all right, let's see, what else can we answer in this video? Why should we kill ourselves for Google only to get slapped later? Um, uh, that's kind of a loaded question because if you're to get slapped by Google, you have to be doing things that Google doesn't want you to do. So the answer to the question is to not do what Google doesn't want you to do. Uh, and um, my dad's in our gardening. My the 
before I get any farther into this, our gar we have a gardening business online. It's an information business. We sell ebooks mostly. We have a membership site. I use that business as my kind of a case study for uh, my internet marketing products because it's just a it's one of those niches that is so far disconnected from internet marketing that I think it's a great example of um, w what you can accomplish online in other niches outside of internet marketing. Uh, so many people think that you have to be in the internet marketing niche to make money doing internet marketing and it's not the case. So I, I typically refer to my gar our gardening niche business. I do have other online um, businesses in different niches um, and I don't typically reveal a lot of the stuff in there um, because they're they're usually in more competitive markets and I, I don't want to Obviously, I don't want to give away the farm. So, But the gardening business is something my dad started back in 1999. Um, and he just really started it by writing articles on things that he already knew information about. He put those articles out online on um, our first website, which was freeplants.com. Um, that website is still online. It's still alive. It's still doing very well, as you'll see in a little bit still producing quite a bit of free organic traffic for us so um, back in, in 1999 there was no Google obviously so it was just you know what my dad did was just he saw what others were doing they were putting out content that content was driving traffic once you got traffic to the site you could get them on an email list or sell them something or you know whatever it is you, your game plan was and so it, the content was not created for Google. So that's a, that's another important another important thing to remember is don't create your content for anybody but the reader. Or the whole point of this 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 um, the First Page Academy program is to create world class content that people will love, that they will read, and that they will share. That's it. If you do that, I promise you you will get ranked on the first page for, of Google. There are a lot of other things you have to do inside that content and outside of that content. And, you know, that's kind of some of the stuff we're going to cover in this video series. And then um, I'll go into great depth to with it um, in the course itself. But that is the, the bit, kind of the keystone of the whole thing. You've got to have great content. So killing yourselves for Google only if you get slapped later I promise you, you will, if you follow what I teach you, you will not get slapped. It won't happen. It just won't. Um, I've got, since 1999, we've been doing this. And we have never gotten slapped, not once, as far as organic search goes. We've got our AdWords account closed. <laughs> uh, but, you know, whatever. That's It is what it is. We used to spend ten grand a month on AdWords um, for a number of years. And just all of a sudden, out of the blue, we're like, hey, sorry, your account's closed. And I tried to get it back. Um, and then they just, they won't even reply. So, whatever. Um, we just kind of went on with our lives and um, focused more on the organic search because that's kind of what was bringing us the most traffic. And also, it's free, guys. It, one of the best things about, you know, why people want to get ranked on the first page of Google is because it's free traffic. And, free traffic kind of results in free money and the beauty of this business is you kind of create it once and you profit from it for years and years and years my dad wrote those articles on freeplants.com back in 1999 and they still to this day every single day bring us traffic bring us subscribers and they make us money and we haven't touched free plants as far as content i haven't added content to free plants man it's it's been five years or more we haven't put new content on that site in five years or more but i'm getting a little ahead of myself i'll show you more uh share with you a little bit more about freeplants.com in a little bit all right let's see if i can answer a couple more of these um so how to own the three box of local searches uh that is a, a very good question and really if you do um yeah, if you do a lot of what I'm going to teach you in these videos, you'll kind of get that organically. It will just kind of happen organically because Google will see 
what you what your business is good at and they'll want to show you in that spot based on the information you've provided um, that kind of that's confusing right now um, but I, I, I'll, I will try and cover more on on this as well as all uh, local stuff um, probably once we get into like the website the website video can any, any of this be automated um, <clears throat> Automation is good, uh, but I can tell you right now that automation is not going to make you money long term. Everybody looks for an automated way to do things. And to me, I consider SEO automated, but it's automated after it's done. And I know that's not the answer you want to hear. You want to hear like you can go download some WordPress plugin and push go and it'll pull in content like one of those one of those auto bot whatever you call them, um, aggregators that'll pull in content and scrape it and uh, spin it and make it its own beautiful article that looks like it, it was written by an English scholar. It's not going to happen, guys. So the automation really, in my opinion, comes from creating this content once and then it's automated. If you set it up once correctly the first time, it's automated. You don't have to worry about it again. There are things that, that I, I go back to our uh, some of the websites from time to time just to make sure that um, for usability uh, that the site is good. Um, so I went back in 2015 to freeplants.com and I made it uh, mobile responsive because it was <laughs> it was a, a frames website that my dad created in 1999. He created it with like uh, whatever that program was, Microsoft Front Page or something. And it was a, it was made with frames, um, you know, where like this side scrolls and then this side over here scrolls and they're all separated. It was ugly, um, but it was useful. It, it was a great, as far as like usability goes, it was great. It was a big navigation over here that scrolled and then you could see whatever you clicked on here. Um, but the search engines obviously didn't like it. It was hard for the um, the spiders to crawl it. I'm sure. Um, I did have a spite uh, um a site map on there but uh, it wasn't it wasn't really updated so anyways I went back and, and updated it for mobile responsive I changed it so uh, it, and you'll see in a little bit that how that improved the, the sites um, organic search results all right so kinda what I wanted to cover in this first video was really to get some of these general questions out of the way, um, I'll try and come back and answer a couple more of these throughout the, the rest of this video series. Um, but I also wanted to, to dive into um, what I think is kind of the number one biggest problem, and it's kind of a conglomeration of a lot of these. And, and really, these two right here. Um, so people kind of have this misconception that SEO takes forever. And, you know, it's definitely not like a, a paid traffic source where you um, you can just go in and create a campaign, um, deposit some money and push go and have traffic hit your site in a matter of an hour or two. It's not like that, guys, but <laughs> you're not paying for this traffic. This is something that you have to think about. And I go back to the question, you go back to the question that I, that I told you I ask people that come to me all the time is how much money have you made so far online? Um, so you've been you've been waiting around for months and months, maybe years and years. Some of you, just reading and studying, it, man, it just kills me to know that because you've over the over that time, you could have just written an article, even an even an article once a week, um, or, or even just you know if you're not a good writer, pay somebody five bucks, guys. I'm going to show you places here um, when we get to the content video, where you can go and get just awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, for five bucks or you know maybe a little bit more than that ten bucks at the most for uh, like a thousand words you don't have to be a good writer but guys this is something you have to do on a regular basis is just get get content out there put it out there and if you follow the the steps and the procedures I'm going to show you in this in this video series and also more in depth in the first page Academy this stuff you don't have to do it once and you're you're Every day that you spend not doing this, you're losing money in the long run. 
and it kills me every time that even I think about how much time I've wasted in the last five years that I could have just been putting something out there. Uh, you have to really think about think about SEO as kind of like creating little tiny 24-hour sales machines. They work for you on autopilot. We get traffic to our website 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It doesn't matter what day it is. It doesn't matter if it's Christmas. We get traffic. We get subscribers on autopilot. But we aren't the ones doing the work. We've done the work already. You know, we spent an hour or two creating a really awesome piece of content. And then it drives traffic for us forever. Forever, guys. Even in the internet marketing niche, I've my blog is horrible. I, I don't ever hardly update it. Somehow I get a couple thousand visitors a month. I get new subscribers to my list, and it all happens automatically. And I do a horrible, horrible job on that website. Um, and really, if you were to take everything I teach in this in this video series and in the First Page Academy and go to my internet marketing blog, I've I've broken every single rule. Um, but I still get traffic, and that's kind of that's the, kind of the good thing about this is you can do everything else wrong, but if you still write good content or if you still are giving good value to people and they they their problem is solved based on whatever it is they typed into Google to find, they're going to like your content. They're going to share it. They're going to print it. Um, and it, those are the things that I want people to understand with SEO is it's not it's not a get-rich-quick thing, guys. It's not. I'm not here to tell you this is you know how I rank my website in an hour or less and how you can do it no matter your niche, no matter whatever competition you're facing. It, I'm not going to lie to you. It's not like that. Is it faster than most people think? Absolutely. And you're going to see here in the next couple videos how you can do it faster than you probably knew you could. And there's there's ways around competition. There's ways around uh, you know niches that are kind of people think they're untouchable. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you um, I'm gonna show you something that it's probably going to be um, a big surprise to you uh, in for um, you know ranking in, in very 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 competitive niches so the, the thing that most people think is that you know obviously SEO takes too much time or you know I'm new I don't even have a domain name I, I can't do this um, I need to make money tonight you know if you need to make money tonight go sell something go look around your house Find something you can sell, put it on eBay and sell it. If you need to make money, go sell something or go do some kind of yard work. If you need to make money, go do that kind of stuff. Go make money. If you want to make money, if you want to make money this year and then next year and then the year after that, do the stuff I'm teaching you in these four videos and in the First Page Academy. Because I promise you, I know without a doubt, this will make you money long term. It will make you money on autopilot, and it will happen for years and years and years. Um, so before I get any further, I want to show you some, let's see, I don't know if I put these in any kind of order here. Okay, so this is our <clears throat> organic search traffic. These are our four websites. And... This is 2010. 2010 is the year that um, I moved back from Houston, Texas. I used to be a, um, a lumber salesman. Um, I made about, I think my base salary was 45000 a year. And I got commission on whatever I sold. And the commission was never more than $500 in my paycheck. Um, I remember uh, one of my, um, and I've told this story before, is I, I sent an email out. I I, can, I made I compiled this list of builders in our area. It was about 400 builders. I sent an email. Um, I automatic, you know, I just did it automatically, like through Gmail or something. And um, <clears throat> I put all of those names in there. And it was at the time. This was like 2008, where the lumber market and the housing market was so bad. So I sent this email, and the subject line was, "Are there any lumber suppliers left in Houston?" Because at the time. You know, I had worked for another company down there, and they had closed. And then, you know, every, there was at least four other places that had closed in our area. So 
that was kind of a hot button. It was, man, where can I go to get some lumber? Because all these places are closed now. So I put that in the subject line. And, you know, I, I in, the, in the body of the email, I'm like, hey, um, you know, this is such and such company. And we have this, 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 and this. We sell to builders. We can get this out to you today if you need it. Um, we'll deliver it to you for no delivery fees. In a matter of like 10 minutes, I had 20 to 30 replies to that, and they wanted quotes. Um, I had same-day deliveries go out, and from that one email, um, I had made more, sold more than $120,000 worth of lumber. Um, it, and I actually won. I was in the top 10 sales for um, the nation because this was a nationwide building supply company. Um, and <laughs> The next day, I think I got an email from, like, the regional manager for our company down there. And he's like, stop emailing and start selling. I'm like, what? I, dude, I just sold, like, $120,000 worth of stuff. I probably sold more than everybody combined in that office for that entire month. And he's telling me to, to stop emailing and start selling. Because to, to them, the old school approach is you're an outside sales guy. Go get in your truck, go drive around, go meet people, go talk to them, go schmooze them, give them your business card, and hope that they call you in like six weeks um, with a quote. And I was sitting at my desk that the day before, before I wrote that email, I'm like, how can I reach a lot of people, get this message out there, and save time so I don't have to waste you know, weeks driving around talking to two or 300 people? And that email did it. And I, I continue to think back to that because I, I continue to think how hard I worked, um, how hard I worked at that job, and I barely made 50 grand a year, barely. Um, and it, it's just, it's one of those things that I, I constantly think about because I, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis now, it's, it's a, a totally different life for me. Um, I kind of get to do whatever I want to do and. Um, I love working on these businesses, even though I'm not really in, into gardening and growing plants. Um, I love marketing. It's, it's really what I feel like I was put on this earth to do and um, to teach it to others, too. So sorry, I got off on a tangent there. But um, in 2010, that's when I moved back. Um, so I, I didn't have a lot of numbers, as you can see down here, to put in for some of these sites. These two sites weren't even around until like. I think this one was 2012 and this one was 2013. Um, so I don't have any traffic numbers and I don't even think I put Google Analytics on these sites for the first couple months. So I'm, I lost some numbers there too. But you can see kind of the, um, the what the organic search results look like over the years. Um, the organic search traffic, sorry. Um, so this yellow one is freeplants.com. This is the one that my dad created in 1999. So you can see it was up to 2011, about, I don't know, whatever that is, 600,000. This is just organic, new organic search visitors, guys. This isn't total traffic to the site. We have a huge email list, and when we send an email out to, uh, like, an article on our website, I mean, we get massive spikes in traffic, but though that traffic's not included in this. This is new organic search traffic to these websites. So this this went up quite a bit, and then it came down quite a bit, then it leveled out, and then it went up, and then you know it's kind of staying level. And you can see 2015 is where I went through and changed everything to be mobile optimized. And you can see it's it went up in 2016, probably because of that. And I just looked in 2016. We got the most backlinks we've ever gotten to this website. We got over a thousand backlinks to this website. Um, and I can I do I know the answer to why that happened? <laughs> no. Um, all I can say is that it's probably ranking much better than it did before in previous years, um, and more people are finding those articles and more people are linking to them. That's usually how it works for us. We get natural organic links from relevant, um, typically higher authority websites. Um, we end up getting quite a bit of backlinks from some pretty cool places, and I'll show you those um, when we get to like the backlinks video. But so backyardgrowers.com, we don't really ever put hardly any content on there. Um, you can see in 2016 we got 60,000 
um, new organic search visitors. So see, just think about that. And I'm, I, I like, I say to myself, that's not, that's like nothing. But 60,000 people, that's 60,000 free visitors. Um, I mean, what, <laughs> what would that be worth to you? If you had 60,000 free visitors to your website that you, you know, brand new visitors. That's just one website, guys. Um, Japanese Maple Lovers. This is a website that uh, my dad decided to create in 2013. He wrote, I don't, I don't know how many articles, no more than 50. Yeah, I'm, I think it's even less than that. But he wrote them all within a, a period of this year, I think, between 2013 and 2014. And we have never added another piece of content to that website, not one. Never even changed the theme. I just changed the theme uh, a couple months ago to make it mobile responsive. It wasn't even mobile responsive up until 2017, and it still climbs in traffic every single year. So 2016, we got it brought us 150,000 new visitors. Freeplants.com, 450,000 visitors in 2016. And like I said, we have never added new content to that website. Not in five years, not in probably more than that. Um, in, I think in 2011 was the last time that I probably added new content, so six years ago. But the site I want you to kind of focus on is this one. Um, this is our blogs. This is where we add most of our new content. And you can see the climb that this thing has every single year. It's, it's gone up. It's never gone down. Last year, 916,000 new organic search visitors, free traffic, almost a million visitors for free. Um, so over the course of the next four videos and over the course of this first page, or I'm sorry, over the, and throughout the first page Academy training, I'm going to refer to this website the most because it is the best case study. Um, and it's where we continue to add new and fresh content. Um, and you know that's that's really what we focus most of our time on anymore. Um, we anytime we we want to send traffic to any to anywhere, this is where we send it. And it it's one of those websites that um, Google has come to love because of the way that we've created it. So um, I'll, I will be sharing a lot more with you about that website. Um, so the next thing before I end this video and before we before I talk about the uh, the most important part of this video. This is um, the Google Webmaster Tools. This is the Search Console. Um, it kind of this is a this is a priceless uh, priceless tool, guys. If you if you have websites right now that are getting traffic, you need to get this installed. You need to install Google Analytics and you need to connect the Webmaster Tools to it. It's very easy to do. Um, I'll show you how to do that inside of the First Page Academy, but. What this is, is it shows you how many clicks you've gotten. This is in the last 90 days. This is our main our main blog here, the website. Uh, it shows you how many clicks you, you've gotten from your uh, from search results. So in the last 90 days, it's telling me I've gotten 286,000 clicks from search results. Um, so you can see here our number one. This This stuff is what people type in. These aren't these aren't things that I've put in here. This is what people type in and how they get to our website. So how to keep squirrels out of garden. This is what somebody has typed in that has gotten us 1,300 clicks in the last 90 days. So I mean this these search queries go on and on. There's 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 more than a thousand. They only show you a thousand on here, um, but there's more than a thousand because we get. Just think of how many different phrases people would type in that would possibly trigger one of our articles. So what I did was put together this this little spreadsheet. This is the list right here. I've downloaded this list, I exported it, and they give you you know how many clicks you've gotten. And what I did was put in how many words each of these phrases are, because the one thing that this course is going to hit you over the head with time and time again is long tail keywords. That is the secret to this entire, entire approach, the entire system I'm gonna share with you, it's long tail keywords. 
So if you if you're sick of hearing about long tail keywords, if you just are totally against them, go ahead and close this page down. Don't even open another email for me about this whole thing because it's gonna be about long tail keywords, guys. It, it this right here, the how much time does it take? With long tail keywords, I've ranked articles in less than 24 hours. Was the site brand new? No, it was an, it was an existing site we had but I've ranked it in less than 24 hours because it was a long tail keyword. It wasn't, it wasn't something that people were searching for 40,000 times a month, but there was, there wasn't a lot of competition, but that guys, that is the secret to getting started fast, getting traffic fast. If you do, if you knock out articles on long tail keywords and you can knock them out consistently, you're going to quickly build that traffic up like you see here. So it was about this year, right here, 2014. Actually, it might have been even in the middle of, like, near the end of 2013. Um, in, in, in Ryan Dice's War Room Mastermind group, this was his $25,000 a year group, uh, something just clicked. It clicked for me. Perry Belcher was, was talking about um, a couple of their websites and in, in ways that they were ranking, and he had mentioned the long tail keyword thing, which, you know, in 2013, I already knew about long tail keywords. I was like, yeah, whatever. But then he showed how they were doing it and how they were getting ranked so fast and how much traffic they were getting. Most people think with long tail keywords, you're not going to get traffic fast. You're not going to get good traffic. That's not true, guys. Uh, I mean, look, look at these in, in 90 days. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven word long tail keyword. That's, that is a long tail keyword, guys. 1,300 clicks. This is 90 days, but 1,300 clicks. Those are clicks. Those are visitors. That's not just getting ranked. When you think about, you know, people want to get ranked for like weight loss. Man, there's 300,000 searches a month for weight loss. I want to be on the first page. Never. It'll never happen, man. Never. And you're not going to get on the first page for weight loss, not unless you invest thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to have somebody knock out great content and have somebody continuously pumping backlinks to it. Backlinks that have to be relevant, they have to be good backlinks. You're never going to get ranked for just weight loss. Not going to happen. But I will show you a keyword that I ranked, or I'm sorry, a keyword that I found that is 33,000 searches a month, has less than 700 competing results for it. I'll share that with you in the next video. So this is what I did with this list of keywords. These are long tail, almost all of these are long tail. Out of all of the keywords, this is all of the words they gave me out of this 286,000 clicks, 81% of these keywords have three words or more in them. 81%. 52% have four words or more. And you can see it goes on and on. So you can see how important it is to focus more on long tail stuff. The kind of the byproduct of focusing article focusing your your articles on long tail keywords is you're just going to organically rank for the higher the shorter phrases, you're going to rank for those organically without even trying because you're getting so much traffic from these other little long tail keywords that your website's going to, the authority is going to be boosted because of these. So if you write an article about weight loss, you, that article is going to get boosted up way higher than it would get boosted up if that were the only article on your website about weight loss. So hopefully that makes sense, guys, because this right here, how much time does it take? It would take you years. I'm talking years to try and get ranked for the term weight loss for your own website if your website was brand new. But if you focus on long tail keywords, I promise you that is a much, much faster way. And it's kind of a backwards way of getting ranked. But the traffic is still hungry. They're still looking for answers. They're looking for solutions to their desperate, desperate problem. And there are millions and millions of long tail keyword opportunities out there and in the next video I'm going to show you um, I think it's the next video hopefully I'm not lying to you here yeah in the next video I'm going to show you a couple different 
well, I'm going to show you the one that was 33,000 searches a month, less than 700 competing pages. 700 competing pages. Let me look. Let me just see what this is. I like to always search in quotes when I'm looking for competing pages. 154 million competing pages for weight loss. The one that I'm talking about was, um, I believe, 700. So I'll show you more about that in the next video. For now, guys, um, if you need to go back and look at this video, look at the numbers that I'm showing you here. Um, if you have a website, get Google Analytics installed. Connect Webmaster Tools to it because this information is priceless. If you notice in your in your Google Analytics account where you try and look at your search traffic and the and um, the different channels and you look at keywords and it says not provided, these are the not provided terms right here. You will never see the not provided terms unless you connect your Google Webmaster Tools to your analytics account. So get that done. That's an that's a necessary step, guys. So in the next video, I'm going to move on to content. But it's really going to be about keywords and content because I want to show you more on um, the long tail keyword stuff. And that's really, it really is a great lead into content. So um, hopefully, uh, you know, I was a lot of a lot of talking in theory at the beginning of this video and really throughout it. Um, and I was just kind of showing you a lot of this stuff here. So uh, hopefully you've gotten a lot out of this. Um, if so, please hit the like button below. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the video, and um, I will talk to you soon in the next video.